Hi everyone, my name is Barbara. I'm the owner and founder of Spanish Paquitos and today I'm going to do something a little bit different into something that we can, uh, you can use for your preschoolers in learning uh, fun for, for kids. Um, and one of these is this uh, sorting game. Um, and I'll show you how to get from here to here from just a few simple objects that you can find at home. So one of the things you're gonna need is uh, one of the discarded paper towel rolls, empty ones, so you find something like this, and a very empty box, like a Kleenex box, a tissue box, or this is one of those coffee uh, filter boxes. And what I did, I cut up the top and then I cut the front of the box like so. And then you can decorate it like I have in this one. You can decorate it with construction paper, scrap paper, whatever you have around. And one of the things you want to do is to measure um, the empty roll every four centimeters. And once you cut them out, you have a small cylinder like this. Now to cut them out, one of the good things to do is to gently press on it. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect, but enough so that you can move around and cut that piece out. Now what happens is it becomes a little jagged like that and you can just cut around it enough so that it just not has those sharp or those edges there. Once you have that, you can start pasting them on here if you want it to just like this. Or what I did was I actually used um, clothespins and I used a marker or crayons or whatever color. And what I did was a sorting game based on color. So I color the cylinder based on what I had here in this in this example, for instance, you can use crayons, you can use uh, paint, whatever you have on hand. Once you have that, you can paste it with some glue on the bottom of the box. And the best thing to do is to actually place glue on the cylinder, if I can get to it. Okay, you can go all around like this, okay and paste it onto your box, wherever you want it on the box. If you wanted to create maybe four pieces instead of five or even six, however many um, pieces of cylinders you wanna um, cut up from there, you can. And once you have that set and that is good to go, you can create your own colors like this. And since it's easier for children to look at what those colors are, when they have a marker like this, it's much easier to find things that are sorting. In this case, it's just a small foam sticker that I had on hand. And it is, again, whatever it is you have on hand to help children sort out um, different things around the house. The good thing with this is you can carry this around the house and also do a little scavenger game that you can um, have maybe more than one child um, help you with it, of course, and find different things that are around the house, small enough that can fit in here, and see how many pieces you can get. That could be another game that you can use this with. This is a great activity for sorting colors. And again, you can use different colors if you want to. You can use primary colors. You can mix up the colors however you want to and or what you have on hand and that is a good activity for preschoolers there another fun activity that i have is this shape activity that goes along with um, the sorting activity and in this activity is a very simple uh, it has a very simple format now you begin with um, different shapes that you can either use the scraps for instance from the cow cutouts of the boxes and you can have different shapes like this very simple shapes um, if it's for preschoolers I probably wouldn't go more than three different shapes or four different shapes that you can have on hand you can um, of course have more shapes if you wanted to but you want to keep it as basic as possible maybe even three okay maybe even something like this a triangle, a circle, and a rectangle, or you could have a triangle, um, a triangle, a circle, and a square. Anything that is, the point is to find out about shapes 
about what those mean in, in respect to whatever it is we're doing right now. So one of the things I want to do is what I did was create templates. Is once you can create templates, you can use those scraps if you want to from tissue boxes or cardboard boxes. And you can start coloring these however you wanted them to um, in a very simple way. And then it becomes something like this. You can color them based on very basic colors, such as blue, green, yellow, any of those colors would work, orange, and then you just cut around them, like so. I'm just gonna get this one here, so it's a little easier to cut. And you cut around it in that way, just enough so that you can have the shape Okay, and you can go ahead and of course do the same thing for all the other shapes. And then you can ask children, how can you um, sort these out? Either base, you can ask them to sort them out if you want to, but what could be a pattern that you can form here if we were going, for instance, and I'll move these here for one second. If you're going rectangle, triangle, circle, what would come next? It will be a rectangle. What comes next? Of course, it will be the circle and so on. You can also have a fun game of what kind of figure can you make? Different figures. Um, what other things could you make with this type of, um, of shapes that you have on hand? Um, different games that you can play with them as well. Another fun part of this is to create, um, I'll show you here, is to use those templates. And what I have here is I have three pieces of construction paper, different colors. I just picked orange, yellow, and green. And what I did was use some clothespins just to hold these papers together and to trace those templates on here. Once I have that, I can easily cut these out with my scissors so that way I can have one there and as a matter of fact I can cut this here and make it even easier to cut and I can cut the rumbus here it doesn't have to be perfect And I get three different pieces and I don't have to cut one at a time. I can just cut all that at once. And here's some other ones that, um, that I have here. Okay. And one of the great things is that you can grab either a piece of paper and have the children. If you start with a figure with a, excuse me, a shape or a figure and start building your pattern according to your shape, and start asking children, okay, if I have these shapes, what would come next? Could it be a rectangle? Could it be uh, a square? It could be, again, a rectangle. Or you can have everything based on the same shape, on the same color, excuse me. If I have, <laughs> if I have a triangle, what would come next? And, or if I say, if I want a circle, I have a circle, what will come next? It could be a triangle, then a circle, and another triangle, and so on, okay? You can also make this based on the color of the shapes, which are circle, triangle, rectangle, and then what could be the next, if you don't have room here, you can go on the bottom. Circle, triangle, rectangle, and what could come next, and so on. Or you can actually fill out this side too as well. Okay, so different things that you can come up with um, with each one of these. It's a very simple activity just to introduce toddlers or to introduce kindergartens to shapes, colors, and different ways that you can use this either during your homeschool or in your classroom or even 
um, doing virtual learning. So I hope you like this activity. If you have any questions, please do let me know. Um, I will include everything in regards to how to do this activity, what materials you need in, uh, in the section below. And I hope you join me next time for another activity. Thank you so much for joining me today. Goodbye.